We're looking at the throne in heaven, and is there a throne in our bodies related to the number four? 2 Corinthians 1, verse 22, who hath, sealed, who hath also sealed us and given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Think about it. 2 Corinthians 3, 3, for as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart. Now stop right here. He's telling you that you have something written. Now remember, the tabernacle and the temple in the most holy place, they have a place where the book of the law is stored, the scroll, the written word of God. In the nucleus of your cells, you have your DNA book written in there. That matches the book that Moses wrote that's in the most holy place. However, now we're expanding, we're broadening out. Other than just the little cells, we're looking at the entire body. And the Bible's telling you that there is yet a book of the law. There is a book written that exists or resides within us, and it specifically says that it exists in our hearts. Our hearts, I like this are actually divided in half. One half brings in the blood, sends the blood out to the lungs. The other half receives the blood from the lungs and sends it out to the body, all right? Four different chambers that make up the two halves and join, join together the two halves of your heart, I just, I love this, and that's where the book of the law is contained. Let me read that again. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart. Second Corinthians 4, 6, for God who hath commanded the light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Colossians 3.15, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. So the Bible's telling you what the throne is, where the Ark of the Covenant is. It's your heart. God, let the peace of God rule in your hearts, that your heart is the throne of God. And it has four chambers. Take a look at this. Revelation 4, 2, I was in the spirit, behold, a throne was set in heaven. Revelation 4, 6, and before the throne there was a sea of glass, like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Take a look at this picture. You have the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, the left ventricle. One half pulls blood in from the body, sends it to the lungs. The other half pulls it from the lungs and sends it out to the body. One, two, three, four chambers that correspond to the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that connect this half of your Bible with this half of your Bible, just like in the DNA book, where this strand of DNA and or RNA and this strand are joined together by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, or adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. I see, I just, I love this stuff, all right? But then he mentions a sea of glass. What could he be talking about there? Notice that he uses the word sea, S-E-A, an ocean. What's the difference between an ocean and a lake? Ocean is, or a sea, is salt water, all right? Lake is fresh water. Take a look at this. Your heart is surrounded by a sac that contains what's called pericardial fluid. The sac, of course, is called the pericardium. Those are like two Greek words. Peri means around. Cardium is the Greek word cardiae, which means heart. So look at Revelation 4, and before the throne there was a sea of glass, a sea. 
the pericardium surrounds the throne of God and it is full of pericardial liquid, which, by the way, is of the same salinity factor as the ocean is. Your pericardium is not just full of fluid, it's full of seawater, literally. And of course, it's functional. The pericardium serves to protect the heart because fluid is a pretty good shock absorber. And anytime the body, like if you fall or you're hit or something like that, within reason, the pericardium in that sack full of water kind of shields the heart from damage by absorbing the vibrations of some sort of injury to the body. Now, it can't do it, you know, all the way, but that's what it's there. So what it is functional, but it is also spiritual because just as the throne of God in heaven with those four living creatures is surrounded by a sea of glass, so is the four chamber heart surrounded by a sea of ocean water, just like crystal, that surrounds the throne of God in heaven. 